Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. I am so excited for today's video. I know I say that in almost every video, but believe me, I'm excited for this one in particular because you guys love it when I do food videos. I love it when I do food videos. All of my coworkers love it when I do food videos. It's a win-win-win situation for everyone involved. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name's Sam. This is a place where I just explore everything that the internet is and has to offer us in the sense of fun trends, challenges, anything really. Today, I am going to be DIYing some of the most popular and beautiful foods of Instagram. There is an insane food culture on Instagram. Foodies, per se. There is just a plethora of food content on Instagram and it's become so popular. Living in a place like Los Angeles, like there are cafes, restaurants, places that people go specifically just to take an Instagram picture with their like infamous drink, food, ice cream, whatever, just to get the Instagram picture. So today I'm going to be trying to DIY some pretty popular Instagram foods. Now, let's look at the list, shall we? The top three that I've decided on are ones that I would personally really enjoy. The first one is a donut churro ice cream cone. What? Also, we're making one that I've actually had before. It was amazing. We're gonna make rainbow grilled cheese. Yeah, talk about aesthetic. And a very popular one at now numerous restaurants and places in LA, cereal donuts. So three very aesthetically pleasing food items. I can't wait, let's just get into it. Let's start off with the rainbow grilled cheese. For those of you wondering how I like do these food videos and cook without a kitchen per se, it is all thanks to stuff like this. This is the griddle that I'm gonna set up to make this grilled cheese. And also, yeah, you guys have seen my little toaster oven, waffle maker. I make it work. Yeah, one day I would like to have a full kitchen, but this just goes to show that if I can make these things with like just this, then you guys can too. So we're all in this together. Can I sing that without being copyrighted? So we got this griddle heating up. We're gonna get this bread, yeet this wheat, and put it on like so. We're just gonna take a small amount of cheese and add a little bit of food coloring to it. Woo! We are gonna do this like over and over again and then just put the little sections of colored cheese in the grilled cheese. Okay, so we're just gonna do two drops to start maybe? Oh, that doesn't look pretty. Okay, it's starting to look a little less gory. Maybe I do need more. Yeah, there we go. And so now we're just gonna put a little bit of red on this side. I don't know how many colors I'm gonna be able to fit on here, but we'll just do that amount for the rest. It looks like hot Cheetos. So it's starting to cook. It definitely looks darker than I thought it was going to be, but I don't think it'll like cook that dark. I don't know, we'll see. I just hope it looks pretty and colorful. I first had rainbow grilled cheese. Where was it? It was at like a pop-up museum. There are a lot of those in Los Angeles and it was like a food truck, but it was amazing. I just want it to look like Instagram worthy status. That's how we're gonna rate how these turned out is like if I take a pop-in Instagram photo, then great, nailed it. If not, then it's a fail. I just added the top on. Now the hardest part of any grilled cheese is the flip. Let's See how this goes. I did it so slowly, but yay, great. Now that we have it cooked, the real test is gonna be how pretty it is when we pull it apart. Now I just very lightly cut it because I wanted it to still like pull apart a bit. Whoa. Wait, how do people pull it apart so well? <gasps> Look at that. Look at the colors. Oh, oh, that's good. That is good. Oh my goodness, what? Okay, so the green was a little dark, made it look a little gross, but like, look at the orange and the red. That's crazy. Now I gotta see how it tastes. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no, I just made a mistake. I ate the food before Instagramming it. No, that's like Instagram food rule number one. Well, hopefully there's a good screenshot in there I could use. 
I'm obsessed. I think this is the only way you can do grilled cheese now. This is definitely a win, not only on Instagram, but in real life too. So up next, we have the cereal donuts. Now people wait in line for hours sometimes to get these donuts. A lot of other shops have started carrying them. They took over Instagram, I wanna say like a year ago or so, but I'm gonna show you guys a really, really quick way to DIY these yourselves. Now, this is like already a little hack too because we are starting out with some pre-bought donuts. What I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make is the glaze and then how to like assemble them. So I'm just gonna take like these normal old-fashioned donuts. So these are the little donuts that we're gonna be making. Fruit Loop donuts. First, we need to make the glaze to dip these in. I have a little bowl here. It is one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three tablespoons of milk. You can also do water. So I'm just gonna mix this this up real quick and once it's mixed I'm also gonna add food coloring to it just mixing this in this is gonna be a nice glaze wow this is so easy see now that is a nice glaze so now we're just gonna add a couple of drops of yellow and then I have this rack I'm just going to dip the donut in and then take it out and let it drip over this rack yeah okay it's dripping everywhere and while this is still setting, that's when we'll just like add little Fruit Loops. I feel like all of the glaze just like dripped off of it, but that's okay. I feel like it's also because the yellow was a little pale, but it still looks so good. Oh my goodness. That one looks amazing. That one looks really good too. Definitely Instagrammable. It is time to take these over to Orange Base. And here we are. <laughs> Seamless transition, right? Seamless. Oh, there are two boys in here. Two men. Oh, you give me a donut? Two. Are they like edible? Two. I promise this isn't like a prank. So, Why would you say well, that? Well, because everyone's been saying that. Now, anytime I go around with food, everyone's Samantha. like. Pick this one. Heck yeah. Thanks, Sam. Like the, this actually looks really cool. Do they look Instagrammable? Yeah, yeah did you Instagram it? No, that's, I mean. You didn't Instagram it yet? When are you gonna take pictures? I'm super Instagram worthy too, watch. This is it, this is the Instagram post. <laughs> there we go. They passed the test. <laughs> Instagrammable. Oh my gosh, yes. I love Fruit Loops. Yeah, I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. 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 Up next, we have the, I'm gonna call it the churro ice cream cone because I don't necessarily know that it qualifies as a donut. I found this little recipe slash tutorial video on popsugar.com. This is what we're gonna do. First, we need to make a little cone for the dough to bake on. They use a manila folder wrapped in aluminum foil, but I was in a rush at Walmart. I just grabbed the thickest like cardstock paper I could find. But you're gonna just wrap this in like a cone-like shape. Use a stapler. I wouldn't recommend using tape. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut off the excess. So there, we got kind of a cone shape. Now we just wrap this thing in aluminum foil. There we have it. So now I'm going to take this biscuit can of dough, easiest thing, already pre-made, and then wrap it around the cone and then pop it in the oven for eight minutes. All right, so I think this is gonna work. I have it cooking in there now and I had to put it on its side because it didn't fit. So let's see how this goes. This isn't working. I think what I need to do is downsize it to make it actually work with my oven. So I'm gonna make this even cuter and even more Instagrammable and make them tiny. So let's see how those turn out. Guys, it kind of worked. Now that these are out, we're just gonna roll them around in cinnamon and sugar. Just gonna do this. Guys, I think I just had the best idea for this. I was about to go into the kitchen and get the regular ice cream, but then I remembered I had these in the fridge. If you guys don't know what these are, these are mini mochi balls. Phenomenal. It's like Thai tea ice cream surrounded by mochi. These are the best things in the world. Oh my goodness. Look at that perfect fit. Uh, guys, I'm so excited. Hey CJ, can you open the door? 
Whoa. So, is that mochi? No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's like a churro. And then I was gonna go add regular ice cream to it. And then I was like, wait, I have tiny little Thai tea mochi in the fridge. Yeah. And look at the perfect fit. It looks cute. I didn't even plan for this. Is this like Instagrammable food? Oh, yeah. For sure. Totally. Like yeah. the Thai tea with like the cinnamon that's on that. Like, good combo. Yeah, throw a filter looks on that. Freaking good. Portrait mode. So cute. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not gonna one bite it. Mmm, oh, I'm so hungry. That's good, dude. <laughs> I could truthfully not be happier with how these items turned out. Definitely Instagrammable. Be on the lookout for some of the photos I took in this video at High Five Totally Trendy. And if you guys end up trying any of the DIYs in this video, post them on Instagram and tag me in it. I definitely think the grilled cheese was the easiest. So hey, maybe start with that one if you're new to cooking of any form. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun making it. I will see you guys in the next one.